The southeastern coast of Lake Huron is home to thousands of permanent and seasonal residents. Our coastal communities recognize Lake Huron as being key to their economic development. Wetlands provide valuable ecosystem services and support many rare species on Lake Huron's coast. Great Lakes coastal wetlands occur where there's natural protection from powerful wave action and are strongly influenced by water level fluctuations. Wetlands take the form of coastal marshes, swamps, fens or bogs, offering habitat for many species of fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and macroinvertebrates. Services coastal wetlands provide include trapping sediment from nearshore and river sources, filtering water and improving the water quality, reducing erosion of shorelines by creating a natural buffer, providing habitat for plants, fish, amphibians, and reptiles, and providing an area to alleviate fluctuations from lake level changes. Wetlands are critical carbon banks, storing carbon dioxide in the vegetation that grow within them. They've been known to store as much, if not more carbon, than woodlands. Threats to coastal wetlands include invasive species, development, dredging, and removal of vegetation. Many of these disturbances have occurred without recognizing or understanding the implications. Removing invasive species, especially Phragmites australis, is extremely important to preserve habitat for fish, turtle, and bird species, creating vegetated, naturalized buffer zones around wetlands to protect them from pollution, nutrients, and sediment contained in runoff will improve water quality and the ability of wetlands to complete their functions. Coastal wetlands are unique, complex ecosystems, demanding respect, proper management, and care from those who visit them. To find out more, go to lakehuron.ca.